Alright, we don't have very much daylight left. So I'm really trying to get into position here. Okay, so I we might as well do this now before <laughs> before somebody finds us because we're a fast approaching prime time on all the servers. The servers are, have been filling up since about 10 a.m. Eastern this morning, and they're only getting more and more full. So I figure if we're going to do a build, we might as well do it now. Uh, we're streaming now, but this will most likely be a video later. So uh, here we go. We're going to be doing some basic building. Uh, building basics, rather, for both PS4, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and for the PC, since we have so many new users uh, on the platform, so it'll be great. And this applies to everybody. Uh, PS4 and the Xbox are on the same version right now. It's 102, but I'm sure this will apply. This, these are pretty basic things. Uh, this will apply to 103 and future updates as well. Okay, so first things first, you want to make sure that you have the proper tools and in this case it's going to be a uh, hatchet um, there's different types of hatchets there's a splitting axe that's pretty good but there's a reason why you want to use or at least i would recommend getting a hatchet a it's it's not as large for one man i hate it when i can't grab this uh nope just kidding how about this one no let me see if i can't drop it like that there we go Okay, so we have a hatchet. <laughs> Oy. Um, I would highly recommend duct tape for the time being because it repairs things over and over again. Uh, nails, obviously. Um, let's see. What else? What else? What else? I know I'm missing something. Um, I just stroked out. Oh, yes. This one's pretty critical. Especially if you can't find any planks, but we'll go over that. So uh, what is this? A hacksaw, duct tape and a hatchet and I would str also strongly recommend having a lot of container space and in this case we have many sea chests I brought one sea chest with me so we can cram it full of uh, the various parts that we'll need most likely planks uh, and let's see so we're on the map here let me just give you an overview this is uh, kind of a custom map here I would strong strongly recommend using a third-party map such as iSurvive, which is free. Again, not sponsored or anything. Uh, it's just a free application that everybody uses. It's got a website facing. It works for Android, iOS, uh, so it's very cool. Uh, we are down in F1, E1, and E2. That's called Chineris or Ch Cherno. I don't know how to speak Russian. I'm sorry. Um, so more specifically, um, you want to go find planks whenever you can so if you're looking at this map again this is a good example of the third party um, if you're looking at the different circles there towards the coast you'll see like a darker brown which look like uh, planks maybe on there those are potential locations for planks to spawn you'll see them they're almost the same height as the player just maybe at your shoulders and what you want to do is you can use a hatchet or a hacksaw to cut them off and get planks in I think stacks of three is that right? Did it come in stacks of three? Anyways, we'll go over the stacks. So first things first, if you're going to be building various things in this game, such as a fence or a watchtower or even a gate, you want to make sure you start with a kit. And we'll start very basic with a fence kit. And first things first, well, actually, let me show you how you do this. First, to make a fence kit, you need sticks, at least two sticks. So you want to find something that's a bush. And if you've got the hatchet in your hand, you can go up and it'll tell you if it's a bush or not, um, or it'll say cut down tree. We do want to cut down the tree, but first things first, we do want to get that bush. What's up? 27 says DM the server. Uh, R6 newbie says what's up? <laughs> what's up, dude? Okay, so when you cut down a bush, it makes a long stick, and we're going to want to split those. So again, with a sharp object, and in this case, it's a hatchet. You want to make sure that's in your hand, and then you're going to hold the right trigger, and I believe it's right trigger on the PS4 as well. I do have my cheat sheet. Um, I'll try to use it as much as I can, because I know there's a lot of players out there that are new. Um, so I'm going to take the hatchet, put it back in my bag by pressing X on the Xbox, and then, uh, and that's square on the PlayStation 4. So with the stick on the ground at my feet, Ooh, you know what? I totally jumped the gun, didn't I? Okay. We'll leave the sticks here. We still need those. Do you hear the birds saying cheeseburger? Cheeseburger! That's all I'm going to hear now. Okay, if you don't have a rope ahead of time, uh, one way you can make a rope is to have two complete stacks of rags. 
So we have one here and my inventory column there on the right. And we have another stack right there. So to combine them to make improvised rope, you want to take one of the complete stacks of rags in your hands. And then you want to go down to the other stack in the right column representing the player inventory. You want to make sure it's the full stack. So six, uh, as you can see, I have another one up there that's four. Uh, they only stack six deep, so that's a complete stack or a full stack. And with that highlighted and the other full stack in my hand, I want to hit B to combine on the Xbox, and that would be a circle on the PS4. And then you'll see, as soon as I tap B, it comes out of my inventory and it says create rope or next recipe. Uh, we just want to create the rope, so we're going to hold right trigger. Yes. What's up, Brandon? Uh, I'm sorry, Brandon says, what's up, homie? What's up, B? Yes. Okay, now that we've completed that task, now we have rope and sticks. So again, in this game, it's very much about and when you want to craft things, you have to have things in your hand, and then you combine other things from the ground or from your inventory. So in this case, we'll take that improvised rope, stick it in our hand, and standing over at least two or more sticks, now you can see we have a craft or a recipe to craft. Now, if we have four sticks and a rope in our hand, we'll have the option to first start with crafting a fence kit, and then if we right trigger one time without holding it, it's going to say craft a watchtower. We already have a watchtower uh, kit crafted in the interest of moving along. So we'll go ahead and make our fence kit here. Now, there's a reason why we're making the fence kit down here. We're going to place it. We're going to show how they're combined and why you may want to do this while you're harvesting logs or even planks for that matter. So in this case, uh, we're going to find a cluster of trees that we want to harvest, and this is looking pretty good. So with our fence kit in hand, I'm going to press the right trigger one time, and I'm going to look where it's a more solid white, and then I'm going to hold right trigger, and then boop. Yeah, 27. I got you on the server here in a minute. I want to get through the um, the building first. And then once you place the fence kit, um, it, okay, so it's worth noting that when I placed it, and this is the direction I placed it in, the side that's facing me is the interior of the wall, and that is important. And obviously the other side opposing that is going to be the exterior. So keep that in mind whenever you're placing. That's That's important. So again, with a hatchet in our hand, we are going to go to... Oh, first things first. Let me stick all this stuff back in my pants. Yes. And let me go ahead and stick the hatchet in my hand, and let's go debo these trees. And again, hold right trigger to chop down the tree. Boo, yeah! Oh, look at my hatch, it's already taking damage. Alright, so when you chop down a tree, you're going to get, uh, what is this, a, what do they call it? Is it a support log? What is this called? A wooden log. I thought it said leg. So we're going to place this down, and you'll notice you have firewood as well. Um, you can use this for fuel, you can use it in a fireplace, you can also cut the logs into sticks uh, to make more fence kits if you need to. Um, so before we do this, I'm going to stick that hatchet back in my hand. Uh, take a look at the damage. It's damaged. So in this case, we're going to go up to our tape. And again, to combine, B on the Xbox. And I believe that's square. I'm sorry, circle for the PS4. That's circle. I think I would know by now. And then I'm going to repair that hatchet. Because we're going to be using it quite a bit. What's up? Uh, Brandon says, like your vids, buddy. This is very entertaining. Do you see the one today? Zero to 100. It, it got published just before this stream started. Okay, with that hatchet repaired, I'm going to pick up this wooden log. Now, what's interesting here is, actually, let's go cut another log to kind of illustrate this point here. This is a, one of the reasons why I put the fence kit down here. Well, to show you guys the process, but to show you a more efficient way to stack things completely. Now, this will most likely stick around for a few versions, or maybe forever indefinitely, but there are ways to stack your stacks even further. Because you'll notice that if I pick up these support logs here, uh, I can't combine them with the other log. Like, there's no way for me to do this. And if you're looking at the wooden log there in the lower left-hand corner, it says one of four, so it should be able to stack four deep. So if I'm on the log on the ground, I have the other wooden log in my hand, I'm pressing B, does nothing. Does not allow you to combine them. 
So let me find my fence kit. <laughs> I don't know where I put it. Oh, there it is. All right, so if you walk up, and again, we're facing, er, we're approaching, oi, we're, f we're facing the interior of the wall where we placed it. I'm a big fan of doing these things and attaching them. So with a wooden log in my hand coming in on the interior of the wall, you'll eventually get a contextual dialogue. And in this case, it says right trigger. So I'm going to go ahead and plop it in there. And if I use vicinity on top of the fence, you'll see that it says base. And then you'll see uh, one wooden log. Oh, one thing to note, when you chop down trees, they will stay down until the server resets. So you want to keep that in mind because you don't necessarily want people to know if you're making a whole hillside bald. I would know to go check the hillside because people probably have loot for me. They just don't know it yet, right? Brandon says, just started to watch, but I saw you were streaming, so I wanted to say what's up. Oh, thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Glad you like the videos that we're posting. Yeah. Okay, uh, let me grab the other wooden log. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? I knocked it over right in front of there. Now, again, with the wooden log in my hand, I'm going to walk up to the interior of the wall, and then it gives me a contextual menu, and it says attach. Now, if you notice, you see how the base combined them? Uh, it, that's interesting, because when I get out of my main menu, and I go back and I look at the interior of the wall, and I press X, Notice that when I pick it up, it only picks up one at a time. But if we go back and attach it to the fence, and in this case, when I go to the left column, and now I press A, and for the PS4, I have my cheat sheet on another page in my notebook. Uh, it's going to be X on the PS4. Now when I pick it up, if you notice, the wooden log stack is now too deep. So it's kind of a way to stack more logs at one time. Uh, I would highly recommend that because if you look, it takes up a wooden log, takes up 33 slots. And that's way better than, what is that, 66 slots when the logs don't stack. So do the math. So I'm going to walk up to that interior again, press right trigger. Now, to go to the next step, you actually can't attach anything else until you take it to the next step. So one of the other crucial tools in this whole process, and I, my personal favorite tool, is the shovel. You need the shovel for this next step, so you want to go ahead and put that in your hand. And then in this case, I think, is it the interior? Yep, okay. So you approach the interior again, and you notice that we have a new contextual menu, and it says Build Base. And what this is going to do, you're going to hold right trigger, <coughs> and then when it's done, it's going to place the logs into the ground. And then you can start to attach other items to this. And your fence kit popped up right there at the ground. So I'm going to put this back in my back. I'm going to pick the fence kit right back up. Now, when we chop up planks and logs, we can attach them here. And with the same trick, planks, I believe, only stack to it. Is it 16 or 12? If you take all of the planks and you keep attaching them to this position, you can stack them up to 20, maximizing your space. Now, a uh, what is it? A stack of planks is 16 slots. So you want to make sure that you're maximizing as much space as possible. Because uh, ch our chest only what is it carries 100 slots. So we definitely want to make sure that we're staying on top of that. Now, why do we have a hacksaw and why is that important? Well, if you can't go to one of these positions here on the map, and again, third party, uh, one of the applications of many is called iSurvive with a Z. Um, looking for those dark brown circles on the map. And again, this is Chinaris, Ch Ch Cherno. Cherno? We just call it Cherno. You can see it closer to the shoreline. I'm pointing to it as if you can see it. And those are potential locations for planks. Now, if you don't find them or you just, you're just you having a hard time locating anything on the map, which usually happens, if you go and chop down a tree like this, you can actually split the wooden logs that they use for support. Chop, chop, baby. Another reason why hatchets are great, because they also double as a crafting hammer or as a construction hammer. Okay, so with the wooden log on the ground, I'm going to pick it up, then go to my right column, go to my inventory, and go to the hacksaw. And in this case, uh, we combine it again. There's, there's a trend here. And again, for the PS4, that is O, or I'm sorry, circle. And if you look here, we have two recipes, or we have multiple recipes. One of them is craft wooden plank. If I tap it one more time, 
Uh, just tap the right trigger. It says saw wooden leg, which is just going to break it into firewood. If I pull the right trigger one more time, it takes us back to the beginning, and it says craft wooden plank. Now, in a pinch, this is pretty good. Now, it's way more efficient and way more time consuming to do it like this. But when you need them, you can do it like this. And if you notice, we only get three there, the lower right hand corner of that selection. And you can see the top number in the upper right hand corner called 16, called 16. It says 16, so that's 16 slots, and we only have three planks. Now let's walk up to our fence kit that now has poles in the ground. Whoops, did I just walk past it? I think I did. Did I walk past it? Am I out of my mind? Is it? I just walk right past it. How do I not? <laughs> and losing your spot. Isn't that great? Isn't it by one of these trees where I knock down? It's like on top of it. Yeah, these trees can definitely be. Yeah, wow. I just totally. Poof. This is not very helpful, is it? And I can't get to the inside, can I? Son of a. Well, anyways, the idea behind these are that you can stack the planks up multiple times. And in this version, you can grab these poles out of the structure, and they still stand there. So it's kind of a way to reuse your poles, at least for the time being. Uh, trust me, it takes a long time to get wooden, wooden logs, and you'll most likely cut them up into planks anyways. So I would use it, consider it a freebie. This works the same with fence kits and towers. Bang, bang. Now we're going to go up and I'll show you a location where we're actually going to be doing some more building. Wouldn't you know it, I knocked the tree down on top of that. Isn't that great? All right, we're going to pick up our chest and we're going to stick the logs and the plank in there. And we'll go through some more specifics. Yeah, having a large backpack and a container, also known as double carrying when you're carrying in your hands as well, that's really the way to do it, I'll tell you what. Yeah, we can still add to the structure here. Uh, did I get a dialogue? Yeah, the tree I knocked down is not blocking it. Fantastic. Anyways, you would stack planks into this position uh, here in the material section, and you can stack it up to 20. We're going to do it on top of the building here. So, location. Um, you can build lots of places, including the top of buildings, inside of structures. You just have to have room for the structure and you're good to go. So uh, right now, building, unless you're on a singular server, which I don't think exists yet until we have community servers, people can do what's called uh, ghosting into your base. They could go to another server, get inside of that position, and then sign back into this server, and then be inside. So I would strongly recommend that you don't store anything inside of your base as far as loot that's valuable because people will most definitely find it get into it oh wait um what was that maca hd says what's up great videos by the way i've been watching a couple too it says to get my shit together for this game oh nice well this should be helpful then okay so we picked a really dirty spot we're in we call it the chair no apartments there are a ton of these buildings, and yes, you can get to the top of them. And yes, it's completely filthy. You can do this on the ground. If you're trying to make some kind of... Well, let's see. Okay, so to go back to the building structures, because this will take me a minute to actually walk upstairs. Well, since in this current state of the game, you're going to want to use structures for to store a vehicle, right? To make a doorway so people can't just put the car together and take off. Um, we like to use them for a perimeter when we're playing. So when we're collecting a bunch of things, we'll create that perimeter with building structures, put all of those things inside, sort them out, and then before we sign out, we either take the gear with us or we bury it in another location or both. Or you can also use structures for a more offensive. And if you see somebody or a group of people or an area that's really hot, you can build some watchtowers, some fences for cover to push on that position. I'm sorry, this is really, really tall, so it might be a little nauseating going up the stairs. <laughs> What's up? FFG says, Jade, smiley face. What's up, B? Says, it's me, Romero. 
you know you're almost at the top when you see this elevator slanted. Yeah, the rubble on the stairway. And be careful you're stepping into the right hallway because there's one down below where if you step out, you'll break your legs. Okay, and we're going to go up the ladder and you'll see that I've already done some some work here. I actually I've done a lot of work ahead of time. The Gaming Vortex says hello. Hello! Okay, so I think this is the right building. I hope it is. Ah, I just pinned myself up here. Yeah, it is. I put a generator up here. Okay, so you can start to see how the top of the structure here is really located in a great position looking down into a lot of lootable places. Now, I, we could have picked another building up here, which probably would have been a lot better. But in the interest of us not getting sniped, because we are playing in an active server that is probably at full right now, I want to make sure that we can get this up in time to actually complete what we're talking about. Uh, there's a lootable spot here. But if you build a tower, you can see how much taller you can get above all this. And it, it also provides cover for you. So to go back to what we were saying about adding planks to a structure... Let's go ahead and do the same thing we did downstairs, but in this case, we're going to do it on a watchtower. So I already placed one here, a watchtower. To craft a watchtower is four sticks and a rope. So we can't add anything else until we actually do the build. And I think, okay, so when you place a watchtower, um, you can see there's no rope here, which stands for the opening. And then these other three walls, this would be wall one, wall two, and wall three. And I'm on the interior. And I think to erect this, I have to be on the inside now. Yep. Now we have the dialogue. So basically facing outward towards the entrance, you'll see this dialogue. And if I hold the, what's up hammer? If I hold the right trigger, it'll do the action and put the post up. It says, or did you just fall down the elevator shaft and almost die? What up kid? All right, same thing as the fence kit. It's gonna pop it up right there, boom. And since I'm such a loot skank, I'm gonna put it over here because I don't like wasting loot. Ever. All right, here's a good example of our planks. Whoops. Can I put it here, please? Yes. So you can see why hacksaws are really important when you're trying to make anything somewhere and you can't find those particular plank spawns. It's a big deal. Okay, so we're going to take our three planks we had earlier, and if you notice, if I go into one of these chests and I try to combine, um, Oh, what? It actually lets us... Never mind. It actually stacks us all the way now. Well, I guess we'll just use it for the um, for the wooden logs then. That's crazy. No way, dude. Hang on. Let me find another incomplete and see if it stacks. <laughs> now I'm interested to know. All right, I'm going to take a six and see if it combines with this other one. Does it make it go all the way? Okay, never mind. We don't have to max the planks anymore. Oh, that's cool. I'm glad we didn't waste time downstairs then. Okay, now, uh, to do a watchtower, well, we'll do a fence first. That makes more sense, yeah? All right, so in this case, we could use it for cover back here so we don't get counter sniped, which is always a good idea. Uh, it says, didn't you used to play an Xbox? Uh, I am playing an Xbox right now. I'm going to take the log and face the interior, attach, attache, attach way. And the good thing is on the fence kit, you can just do it on the interior, so boom. Okay, the poles are up. Now, there are two main ingredients. Well, actually there's three, but to do the construction itself, it's going to go in multiple phases. Uh, we're going to grab some of these planks, and I'm just going to grab all 20 get to the interior and place that bad boy or attach it rather I think it's a lot more efficient to have it in your hand walk up to the articulation point the activation point and then just press the button it's much quicker instead of going through your inventory and such okay I think I have nails on me okay um, I've got some nails I'm gonna attach those as well now you can use a building hammer but secret secret if you have a hatchet, if you look at the other end, the non-sharp end there, the blunt side, it can be used as a hammer as well. So if you have a construction hammer or a hatchet in your hand, 
and the proper materials and the proper quantities, you can now see we have options here. So we have build upper frame. This might be lower frame. I think these dialogues are a little flip-flop, but we'll find out. So we're going to go ahead and do the frame first. Okay, nice. It was the actual upper frame. So if you look now, it says build upper wall, which is going to create planks on top of that. Um, if you're making a perimeter, I'd strongly recommend doing the framing lower and upper first because it's going to stop people from just rushing your position, and that's what it's all about. You don't want to catch people. You don't want somebody to catch you off guard while you're trying to build or you're stashing loot or sorting through loot. So I pressed right trigger one time to switch the recipe, and this time it's... Does it say recipe? Or I should say whatever I'm adding on to here. Now it says build lower frame, so it should create the same outline. You know what? Hang on a second. We have 91 nails and 16 planks. I'm going to go. I just want to see how many it takes. I want to say it's four. We're going to go ahead and look. 91, and we're down to what? That was eight. Eight nails and four planks. And uh, because we're using the hammer, or I'm sorry, the, the hatchet, it's taking durability damage, so I'm going to go ahead and fix it because I don't know if I have an extra hatchet, so I'm combining it with the duct tape. Now, I think we should be able to do the upper wall, so uh, I guess it's worth noting now, I didn't, I wasn't able to find metal sheets but you can put those in and you can either create a wooden face or a metal sheet face. And in theory, the metal sheets will stop bullets better than the wood will. So these take a lot more planks. Ooh, I didn't really pay attention to that one, did I? 73.7. And we're going to do the lower portion, 73.7. Okay, so that took 10 nails and 5 planks to make a face. 10 nails, 5 planks to make the facing after you've done the frame and everything else. Now, there are some extra things we can do here, so I'm going to go ahead and grab some more planks. I'm going to attach. I'm going to go ahead and max this one out. Now what's really cool is you can do this in any order that you want. You can leave things out, so you can build it any way you want. So with that in mind, now we have 20 and 63. I'm going to go ahead and put our fancy hatchet in place. Now we have the option to build a platform. And once a platform is constructed, you can build stairs on either side or both sides. And you'll see just how useful this is. So we're, uh, we're at 63 and 20 planks. 63 nails, 20 planks. I'm going to hold right trigger with the crafting or with the hatchet in my hand. Was it um, Seth says, hey Jade, love the videos and thanks for telling me where to find M4 and Lars. I found a bunch now, thanks again. Hey, no problem. Yeah, they're just really rare, so and now you know why we've been hoarding them. But to be fair, when you go down to Solnichi Factory, you just clap some booty cheeks and you'll get them just fine. Uh, 63 and 20. Why am I so bad at math? 63 and 20. So that's is that 15? 15 nails and 5 planks? It says, Jay, can I add you on Xbox? Yeah, if you want to. I uh, Just a heads up, my friends list on Xbox has been broken for almost 3 years now. So you can add me, but I can't add you, remove you, favorite you, unfavorite you. It's been like that for a long time. I just have so many requests that it broke it. Okay, now that we have the platform built, and now we have the option to do either right stairs or the left stairs. So what are we at? 48 and 15, we'll do the left side. So you can kind of see how this works. Actually, I lied. I'm going to do the right side. 48, 15, that was for my, <laughs> that was for me, dude. What's up, bio? He goes, sucks. So now we're at 40 and 11 planks after that. Boom. 
Oh, wow, my hatch is taken deep. So now you can see just how awesome this is. When you walk up here, you have a nice line of sight. You can do a little crouch, give yourself some protection, slip and sleaze all the way around. It's very, very useful. Now we'll, uh, we'll go on to the next phase here and do a watchtower, kind of continuing with where we left off here. 